Okay, giving birth. Right, first thing, and do all the bolts. I forgot to mention when the uh, when it was at the green stage at the toffee, I just trimmed round round this edge here with a sharp knife. If you time it right, it just cuts like butter. Do it too early, all the glass cloth starts to pull. Too late, can't get a knife into it. Okay, that's the nuts and bolts out. Now I've marked an X on this corner of the mould. And the plan was that I was going to chamfer off a piece of the mould, which would make it then very easy to get a little plastic wedge in. But I forgot. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe next time. So we've got to get it started. Oh, there we go. Not too bad at all. It's just a thin piece of mylar. And then I get some wedges in there. These are free plastic wedges that come with car body filler. They work great. Let me just work our way along. Shouldn't take too much effort to get it apart. Just a bit of patience. Once, you, once you've got it going, you're done really. Look at that, it's just fell apart there. Okay. Poof, and there it is, comes apart. You can see the uh, this is a bit of epoxy left over and a bit of the PVA as well. Um, basically, just run around it with one of these plastic wedges just to lift it up from the mould, and that will then make it easier to pop out. We hope. It's always a little bit traumatic, first part out of the mould. It's amazing where you can poke this mylar into. You can actually, if you've got a particularly obstinate mould, you can start at one side, just keep wiggling it, get it right round and up the other side of the mould, and then pull the two halves to get it out. I don't think we need to resort to that here on this one, but I'll show you anyway. Just keep wiggling it gently back and forth, and hopefully, it should go all the way around. Nearly there. There we go. Just start to see it coming through here. See it? Now we've got something to get hold of. Yeah, you can get a little pull, a bit of a wiggle. Is needed really.
And there it is, he's out. Uh, lost a bit of the mould edge. Oh well. Bit of filler in there and get it ready for the next one. Okay, you can see, still got the uh, epoxy around the edges. What we do now, is a nice sharp chisel and just trim off the flashing. Edge of the mould is really stuck on there. I don't know what went wrong there, but usually get that. The first part out of the mould, so. Okay, it's pretty much got it reasonably cleaned up. Next thing, I get uh, a rubber sheeting just to protect the workbench. And give everything a wash down. It's all uh, Get the PVA off. PVA attaches mainly to the plug and some of the wax and the remainder of the wax will stay attached to the mould. Good thing is, once you wash the PVA off, there'll be no wax left on the plug, on the, on the uh, part, which is great for, for painting. Because it's a real pain trying to get all that wax out. Paint won't stick to it. Good rub with a sponge. Dry it off. And uh, I'll see if I can show you in the macro facility now the plug. It's, uh, it's reasonably good along most of the length. Then you see towards this end where a little bit of it's stuck in the stuck in the mould, lost a little bit of the seam, and it starts to get a bit rougher. A little bit rougher here. Um, this side, that's pretty good. 
by the time I got a coat of primer on there, a couple of rub downs, that'll be uh, that'll be pretty good, I reckon. Reasonably stiff as well. Yeah, nice part. First bit's always a bit of a problem getting out of the mould. Once you've got the first one out, it just gets better from there on. Okay, while well we got the uh, water going, we clean off the mould as well. Any obstinate stuff, I just usually hook it off with my thumb. It's usually just the flashing that becomes a bit obstinate. Okay, that one's good to go. Alright, well this half. No damage to the mould at all, come out nice. But this half, you can see, uh, got a little bit of damage along here and a little bit around the nose. Bit of a pain. I'll probably fill it up with car body filler, it's a pretty much disposable mould anyway, this one. Just a quickie made out of polyester, chop strand mat. Makes it cheap. You want a good one, you want to use for a long time to come and get many parts out of it, then go for epoxy and glass cloth. Run around with the thumb. Get any uh, particularly stiff bits off. And, uh, yeah, okay. You want to use these parts again, of course, you need to put another. 10 coats of wax on and PVA just like we did the first time. After you've pulled um, maybe five parts, you should then be able to dispense with the PVA. A bit risky, sometimes the mould edge gets damaged a bit, sometimes there is okay. It depends on, on the strength of your mould edges really. But once you can make the transition, much better because you can use very little wax, all the wax stays in the mould. So each pull you just need to add another layer or two of wax. No PVA, so that makes it very quick. That's when you start getting into production moulds. Bit beyond my skill level really, but I keep trying.